guys see me? Guess you can. Can you guys hear me? Close enough. All right. Oh, the light really is bothering me, but anyway. Hello, guys. Jesse's back after a while of being very inconsistent with uh, his video releases. That's why I decided to make this video just to explain to you what I've been up to. And as you can see here, I've got my laptop here because I tend to, sometimes when I speak, I drift away. So I've got my laptop here with a couple of questions that I want to see answered at the end. So I'll be discussing here where that I've been and why I was so inconsistent with the release of my videos. Uh, I'll talk about the future because something very interesting happened. That's why I'm making the video right now. And what about the channel? Oh, I think many people are asking questions about it. Anyway, okay, so where have I been? Basically, the reason why I've been so inconsistent with uh, the videos is because a while back ago, I uh, made a video where I explained that I was about to become a government official because succeeded in one of their competitions. And I thought I was going to start right away, but actually it wasn't the case at all. Uh, basically, it meant that I was in a waiting list and in that waiting list, I was going to receive different uh, job propositions and then you'd have to participate in other smaller but still as terrifying uh, competitions to actually get that job. And basically because I uh, participated in competitions at the master's level, because that's my education level, uh, you can imagine that the competition was going to be quite fierce. And so I received many of those propositions and when I got into those interviews, something just simply didn't work. It's different when you have a job interview in the private sector. That's a place where I usually always succeed. When you're in the public sector and you have those interviews, it's different. It's different. You have to speak differently. You have to, to, to explain yourself differently. And so I simply wasn't able to do it well. It was crazy. So uh, I took some time off from everything, from YouTube, from, from, from life basically, just to meditate, to think about what am I doing wrong. So uh, what I did was basically uh, open my Word document and write down all questions I received in those job interviews, just so that I could prepare myself properly. And so uh, there was a job interview for the position of analyst at the federal government's justice department. Uh, they were looking for an analyst to join their cross-border division. It's basically a division that was created by the European Union. Uh, the directive was, I think, 2015-413-EU. It's a directive that is basically forcing the member states to share crucial information about their subjects, meaning the citizens, and the possible mistakes that they might have made maybe for example they were driving in traffic on the influence of alcohol and so basically the directive is asking the member states to share those information that way no one can avoid the law okay so it's basically international relations and that's what i studied by the way and i landed that job interview i nailed it and so they called me yesterday to congratulate me that i came first and I'll be starting soon. You know, in the meanwhile, I've been a good boy. Uh, I was focusing on that and I also took some time off to uh, use the stress I had to hit the gym. So I've been hitting the gym quite frequently and I'm quite happy uh, of the results. I feel more confident, I feel stronger. And there, there are so many things that happened. I mean, I wrote here a few things. I went into a boxing match to see my neighbor fight after he trained six months for it. The match was great. It lasted 30 seconds. My neighbor was really good. Impressive even. He was his opponent's superior. And somehow my neighbor dislocated his own shoulder, lost the battle, and we spent more time in the hospital than the actual match. So that was quite a story. Um, oh, I worked in a factory for a while because I resigned from my previous job after I succeeded the first government exam sessions. And uh, by the way, I was happy I left the job actually because I absolutely did not feel good there. And well, truth be told, I only took the job because of the company car, which unfortunately enabled me to also get into some weird situations. With the car, I went to Amsterdam to see a fellow investor and I had breakfast 
with what I thought to be cake. Turns out it was cake, but you should add the word space in there. I had breakfast with space cakes and quite frankly I can't even remember Amsterdam. Oh, as I said, I worked in a factory for a while, right? I worked there because they gave me weak contracts, which was convenient for me. That way I could just leave that same work after the government would give me green light to start there. And in, in that factory there's so much that was happening. I made lots of friends from people who came from Syria, Mongolia and other parts of the world. I had almost a physical fight against a very interesting and very kind man, at least when he's not angry. I dropped a glass by accident, some people thought I only just came out of jail for some strange reason, I guess it's probably because I go to the gym a lot. Uh, I made tons of mistakes there, I laughed too many times because some people simply were too funny, I was very distracted and yet despite all of that the manager came to me and wanted to give me a promotion and I was like huh? How would you give me a promotion? I wouldn't even give myself a promotion when I look back. But, well, despite the uh, proposition, I had to decline because I knew I wouldn't stay there for long. And now that I'm gone, some people claim to miss me and I miss them just as much because I had a good time there even if, well, I could have done more my best. At some given point we were robbed and, and, and like we found the people who robbed us and even one of those robbers had a, a knife and now I have the knife. I, I, I also had to, to, to lay low and hide because for some strange reasons my uncles and aunties and friends of my mother and, and, and father they see me as a, they had a term for it, uh, marriage material. Yes, that was it. So there's a bunch of people coming to my mother, calling my mother, calling my father, asking like, hey, uh, can't you propose your son to my daughter, etc. So, so I, I didn't run anything of that because I, I tried to stay focused. You know, you, you have to imagine you just graduated. All right. That was already difficult enough. And then you know that it's going to be even more difficult once I'm going to try to get into the government. So that's when I said I really don't want anything to do with dating. But suddenly I got so many marriage requests. It was crazy, it was tiring. And I'm guessing that it's probably going to get worse now. Am I looking forward? I guess not. Anyway, now that I can work for the government, I can now start building my life basically. I can start traveling again. I can buy a home. I can stop investing because I already invested all of my savings and all of the money I got from my previous job. And maybe to explain why I invested all of my savings. Look, I don't want to start investing once I already have a home to pay and let alone when you have children of your own. So I think it's best to take risks when you don't have those responsibilities. I hope you guys can agree on that. And if you don't, well, these days people are very interesting. Uh, so I don't have to do that anymore. So yeah, I can finally start building my life, uh, get myself into different projects and, and, and hope to make them grow bigger. Uh, what about the channel? Even if I haven't been releasing many videos lately, uh, I've been busy. Meaning that uh, I was writing, I am still writing all the scripts for the remaining characters in the Digimon Rumble game. Uh, that way I can, you know, make all of these videos at once and then release them and then I can jump to the different videos. Like for example, Digimon World 3. I, I realized that I'm probably not going to have a lot of time streaming the game. But I do want to speak about the game because there's, I mean, it's a big game. There's lots of stuff, lots of interesting stuff in it. And so I'm going to discuss the game a little bit the same way I'm discussing uh, Digimon Rumble. Uh, and I've got a few ideas. I'm sure you guys are going to like it. So I'm, I'm, I'm hoping I can revive the game by, by doing that. So you can certainly look forward to that. And I'll get back to the explaining Digimon videos. I'll also get back to some of the uh, other experiments I made. Like for example, the uh, explaining Digimon attacks video. I even tried to make a new intro. Uh, I, I hope you guys are going to enjoy it. I'm going to show it uh, right away. And I also tried 
to play with new editing softwares uh, to know if I can edit my videos in a way that is more, I don't know, uh, I love to watch the game theorist. I, I mean, I doubt that he's editing his video himself. He probably has an entire crew for it, but I would love to make videos the same way he is doing it. It's probably not going to work because it's asking a whole lot of time, but I've been playing a little bit with some software. Oh, I even was playing with softwares like Adobe Photoshop, Pexels and Filmora just to see what I could do with pictures. Uh, in the hopes I could make something much more appealing for you viewers. And I've got a very interesting story about that. I've got a friend here who absolutely adores the Marvel Cinematic Universe and her birthday was coming up and that was a way for me to test these new softwares and picture editing. I decided to put her face in a Thanos armor. I added some extra effects like more lightning, various filters and more just to give the picture a sort of dramatic look. Uh, I then printed the picture on a mug, I dropped it at her door and ran away because, like, it was best not to see me. I was in pyjamas and whatnot. Now, to be honest, I don't even know if she liked it because she didn't really give her opinion on it. And quite frankly, it is okay. I'm happy with the results and I will keep going ahead in my search of finding good softwares, to find new uh, editing skills, editing tools, uh, and to give my videos more fire. All right, so... That was a brief little update. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I can now finally get back to uh, my regular schedule. I don't have to focus on those exams anymore. So you can rest assured the videos are going to come. And I'm even going to uh, reuse some of my older methods. Uh, many of you guys have many Digimon requests. So I'd like to take a question of one of you guys, promote it and talk about it again. Okay, so I'd like to do that again, get back to the old method, because it was quite fun actually to uh, read your comments about how happy you guys were that I actually really took your comments and promoted it and really took my time to answer the question. So I'd like to get back to it and slowly but surely revive uh, the channel. Uh, I'm also going to see how I can use Discord in a way that is more uh, pleasant for me because even if I made it do I even go to discord actually never so I'm still trying to figure out how I'm going to uh, work with the channel but uh, know that I'm taking my time and you don't have to worry we're going to make something big and beautiful together all right so guys stay tuned for the next video it's going to come really really soon